At its Cartersville, Georgia training facility, Komatsu introduced the press to the new D61I-23 bulldozer. The machine is the company's first with what it calls intelligent machine control technology and is the world's first machine with integrated fully automatic blade control from rough dozing to finish grading. Here, Komatsu engineer Jason Anitzberger explains the difference between using the D61I compared to dozers with conventional machine control. Most of the time, operators are choosing to run those manually. They're using the machine control technology just for that great information until they get close to grade. And then when they get within, you know, a tenth or two or close to finished grade, then they'll switch on the automatics and make those uh, last few finishing passes. And uh, that's when they take advantage of the automatic capabilities of those machines. Again, now with this machine, we're able to operate an automatic from first to last pass. The dozer really is one of the hardest, most difficult machines to operate proficiently on a job site. And you know, people have seen the great benefits of machine control technology with the aftermarket systems by being able to automate and give, say, inexperienced operators, you know, experienced operators alike, the ability to finish grade to close uh, tolerances very quickly. We're taking that a step further now by automating the rough dozing portion of it. And they're often overlooked, but be able, to be able to hog out material um, manually, it takes a lot of skill to be good, to make every pass count. So by now automating that, again, we're taking the, the operator variance, you know, largely out of the picture. So even an inexperienced operator can make every pass count to get maximize, uh, excuse me, to maximize your productivity. Unlike aftermarket solutions, Komatsu has integrated all of the machine control components into the body of the machine itself, rather than mounting them to the blade. So we have the GTS, GNSS antennas mounted on this pole on the blade. Behind the blade, there is a uh, IMU or slope sensor on there. With the new machine, we have moved them off the blade. So instead of having those sensors that package on the blade, we have the cap top GNSS antenna or GPS antenna. So that's receiving all those satellite signals. We have our hydraulic stroke sensing cylinders. So one for the lift, one for the angle, and one for the tilt. And then mounted inboard of the machine, we have our enhanced inertial measuring unit, our enhanced IMU. So up to 100 times per second, that's measuring and, uh, I guess, calculating the attitude of the machine. So whether it's, you know, pitch forward, roll to this side, um, it's able to accurately calculate that positional changes up to 100 times per second.